Hey guys, this is Paul with Coastal Upcycling and I'd like to welcome you to part two of our little video series on how to paint a farmhouse or paint a dresser to get that farmhouse look uh, with the natural uh, distressing and sanding. Uh, in the first video here, I uh, described our project to you, uh, what we were, what our plans were for this beautiful nine drawer <clears throat> Broyhill dresser. And uh, I also uh, talked a little bit about the paint that we were using. Uh, this was a, uh, it's called Chalk It Off from uh, Hudson's Handcrafted Creations out of Jeanette, Pennsylvania. A very cool uh, mineral paint uh, that we were able to use. So, uh, and I think the color that we used uh, is called Evening Sunshine. So uh, let's go ahead and get started and uh, start painting. So. Uh, the first thing uh, that you're always going to want to do when you start painting a piece like this is make sure you have a good quality brush. Uh, this one I've used for about a year now uh, and it's still almost as good as new. I, I try to take care of it as, as best I can, um, which means I wash it and I clean it, which is much uh, much better than what I used to with uh, some more brushes. But uh, this little uh, two inch angle cut in brush, uh, maybe seven eight dollars at Home Depot uh, Lowe's uh, definitely want to go check them out now that the holiday season is coming up because they run all kinds of great deals and specials up front you know just like a bunch of little stocking stuffers that you can pick up for a really good price uh, definitely would uh, load up on these uh, if you have the opportunity so I went ahead the paint as it comes out is very thick and which is a good thing uh, it's gonna have a really good coverage um, this is actually going to be my first time using it, so it was a little thick for me, uh, so I went ahead and diluted it with just a tad bit of water. Uh, we're going to see what kind of coverage we get with that, okay? So, like I said, first thing you want to start off with is a good quality brush. Make sure you get this all mixed up, and then we're going to go ahead and go to the piece. Now, the good thing about doing the uh, rustic farmhouse look is that uh, you don't have to be perfect with your your painting skills um, you know the, the the whole look of the piece is is supposed to be like it's been around for generations and it's got lots of love and wear and tear to it so um, we're not going to prime this piece because we're uh, going to end up doing some etching sanding and distressing here to the edges here if i were to prime this um, when i sand it then you're going to sand through the paint and you're going to see primer and it's just it's just not going to have a good look to it because the primer may be white maybe gray it, it just it won't look too good we're just going to start getting some paint on it nice even strokes but like i said you don't have to be perfect if you want to go back and forth for a little bit you can do that um i like following uh, my piece this way. I don't know how to describe that. I mean, not necessarily going with the grain, but I am going in this long direction this way, and then I'll come and turn my brush and go this way. And then I'll go this way. So if you can see that this piece is uh, looking a bit horizontal, then I'm going to go this way. I won't go this way, I'll go this way. Because this will have some. Uh, brush marks to it. I think we kind of want that. That's going to add to the um, rustic look of our farmhouse piece. And right now we're just getting some color on it. Okay. Not too worried about getting everything covered. That's going to come later. Okay, so we'll keep on going with this process and then we'll check in with you in a little bit. All right, thanks. Okay, so here we are, one coat on. Uh, if I come in a little bit closer, you get to see, you know, how much we just went really quickly over the piece. Um, you can still see some of the uh, wood back behind our paint strokes. You can see our paint strokes are a little bit all over the place. There's a couple of... Uh, ways to finish this. You can be satisfied with the way it looks now and put the hardware on and it would look great. Uh, it'll definitely have that farmhouse look to it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give it one more coat because I want to get uh, 
I guess a little more like this. Uh, I want to just cover everything. I, I don't want any of the the uh, old dresser um, popping through, if you will. So I want to get a good even coat on it. We're going to let that dry, and then I'll show you how we um, distress this uh, to give it a natural distressed look. Um, and that's the most important thing. You want this thing to look as natural as possible. You don't want to look like... Uh, you know, you just went crazy with the uh, sanding block. And uh, so, uh, until next time, uh, keep watching, and uh, we'll check in with you next time. Bye.